Trump's in jail. You can quit building the wall. Mexico is paying to build a wall. <laughs> Did you hear about that? You know why? Why is that? They're going to try to go back to Mexico, getting ready for a collapse, you know, on the dollar. So they think a lot of people are going to start. Trying to go back? Yeah, so now Mexico wants to hold everybody back. <laughs> Trump's in jail. You can quit building the wall. Mexico is paying to build a wall. Huh. Did you hear about that? You know why? Why is that? They're going to try to go back. They're going to try to go back? To Mexico. Getting ready for a collapse. You know, on the dollar. So they think a lot of people going to start. Trying to go back? Yeah. So now Mexico wants to hold everybody back. <laughs> Shalom, Shalom, call Halal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, that's giving all praise to the Most High, in the name of His only begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon Camp, down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us His truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutation to the whole full scattered abroad. And real quick in this video, I want to touch on the video that you just saw, where you saw some workers, some construction workers in Mexico building a wall. Okay, and, and they said the guy was, you know, sound like an Edomite trying to be funny. He said Trump's in jail. You can stop building the wall now. And he said, hey, he gave he he, he gave him a, a, a little insider. He said Mexico is paying to build this wall because they know the um, the American dollar is about to collapse. Okay, your American dollar is about to collapse, and it's going to have no value soon. They're saying by January first, the American dollar is going to collapse because these other nations are joining the BRICS. You know. Which I believe is Brazil, Russia, um, Iran, and South um, China and South Africa. Um, but there are pretty much all these nations are joining sides with Russia and China, and they're going to stop, you know, selling oil to America. Which is right now the America is being held up by the petrol dollar and the stand and, and, and the social construct. But once it's not no longer held by that petrol dollar, guess what? There's going to be no more American dollar, which is going to cause this inflation that people are experiencing right now to turn to hyperinflation. And it's going to be total chaos out here, man. It's going to be all, all, all hell breaking loose, everybody for themselves. And the Lord warned us about this. This is uh, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. It says, Know this also, that in the last days perilous times shall come. Okay, which I'm going to read it in NOT. It says, You should know this. And those of you that don't know this, guess what? You can wish you had known this, man. You can wish you had taken heed to the prophets. Timothy, that in the last days, there will be a very difficult time. We're coming to a very, very difficult time, man. All right, well, a lot of people are going to die and lose their lives, okay? They're going to die and lose their lives, and this money is not going to be able to save you, okay? This money is not going to be able to save you. It's not going to deliver you, okay? That's it. Okay, that's it, and that's just why you should have been seeking your help, Hashem Yahweh Shai, um, in this time, man. All right, let me go here in the second Ezra chapter six, verse um, twenty-two. It says, "And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown; the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. The trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. Everybody's going to be afraid. You see, said people are going to be trying to come back. You know, they're going to try to come back from over to over that wall to come." Uh, cause you know, if you got these immigrants and these Mexicans trying to come to America, well, they're going to try to go back to Mexico. And then these Americans are going to go and try to flee to Mexico as well, you know, to avoid the hell and the perilous times here in America. America is going to be the worst place to be in the times that we're coming into, man. Okay. And it's going to happen fast. It says the full storehouse shall suddenly be found empty. These stores and, you know, these shops where, where, where they seen like, you know, his business as usual is about to be shifted and, and, you know. It's going to be a riffraff in, 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 in the system. You know, ain't going to be no more, you know, buying and selling here unless you have that Karagma. And this is why they want to also bring up them smart cities, man. Everything else outside of them smart cities is going to be a fucking wasteland. It's going to be a a, 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 a total devastation, man. Like you got to get this, this new show out called um, Twisted Metal where this Jake, he's driving back and forth and delivering things from from city to city, which they're pretty much smart cities. You know, they're, they're, they're closed up. You know, they have, you know, security. But outside those cities is total fucking Mad Max 
all hell breaking loose, okay? And that's going to be America. It says, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man sh shall hear, which, which when every man heareth, they shall suddenly be afraid, which is those uh, sirens. You know, when it starts with the prophets, we are we are, we are already telling you know uh, uh, blowing that trumpet, but then you're going to hear actual you know um, emergency alerts. Okay, it says at that time friends shall fight one against another like enemies. People going to be fighting like enemies, man. Ain't going to be no more friends. Ain't going to be no more family. It's going to be every man for himself. Truth says because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So everybody's going to be out you know for for, for for themselves, you know, and there's going to be blood in the streets. It says, at that time shall friends fight one against one another like enemies, and the earth shall stand in fear with those that the world are in. The springs of the fountains shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. Ain't going to be no more running water. Ain't going to be no electricity. America is about to get plunged into total darkness, and it's going to be uh, 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 the wild, wild west out here, man. The wild, wild west and the Mexican government and all these governments know that. They know, they see what's coming. They, 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 are, they, they understand very well what's coming, and we understand and we see what's coming very well. This is why you got to understand these prophecies, man. This is Bible prophecy. America is going to be destroyed. So Mexico is now paying to build a wall, which you had Trump, you know, trying to build a wall. And now Mexico is saying, now, nah, you know what? We're going to build a wall, you know, to keep y'all out. It says, whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. So we're about to witness the end of our world here, man. OK, we're about to witness the end of our world here. Okay, let me grab this Ezekiel chapter 7 verse 19. They shall cast out their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed. Their silver and their gold shall be shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the wrath of the Yahweh Bashim Shai. So your money ain't going to save you. It says they shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowels because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity. Right? The Lord going got a stumbling block prepared for you people, man. These Americans they saying you know, niggas tell you, oh, cash rules, everything around me, dollar, dollar, billion. If it ain't about, if it ain't making money, it ain't making sense. So they'll reject this truth and they'll reject the prophets. You know, they'll reject doing this word for a job or whatever. But that, but, but what is that going to do for you when, when that job lay your ass off and that money ain't got no value no more, man? You can have all the money in the world, but what, 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 what does it matter if the money has, has no value? And this money is going to fail. It happened in Egypt. It's going to happen here. In America is a modern day Egypt. It says, I'm going to read it in NLT. Ezekiel 7, verse 19. They will throw their money in the streets. The money ain't going to have no value, bro. You got over there in Venezuela. People was, 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 was using the Venezuelan currency to make bags and shit, man. You know, you're going you, you, you to use it to wipe your ass with. It says, tossing it out like worthless trash. Tossing your money out like worthless trash. When you realize that dollar has no value anymore. It's going to be worthless, man. And it shows you that when, you know, we, hey, we learned about that in school, about the Great Depression. It, it was, it was I, remember, I remember vividly in one of those books, that was, you know, social studies or whatever, they taught us about the Great Depression. And um, it was a picture of kids playing with fucking bricks of money in the streets like they was, um, you know, building a sand castle or, or building a, a brick castle. But it was with bricks of money. It was with, you know, wads of money. You know, because that money's going to have no value. You know, it's, it's going to cost you, you know, a, 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 a million dollars just to get a loaf of bread. Okay, it's that. It says, their silver and their gold won't save them. Your money ain't going to save you, man. You know, you know, p p people take pride because, hey, money is a defense. But that money is not going to be a defense when they, when this economy collapses. And this kind of economy is in, impending doom. Okay, impending doom. The American dollar is about to collapse. And that's when all hell is going to break loose out here. It's going to be every band for himself, Mad Max, total fucking chaos. And then they're going to bring in that, that karagma to, 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 to bring in the order out of the chaos. It says, on that day, on that day of Yahweh's, like Yahweh's anger, it will neither satisfy nor feed them, for their greed can only trip them up. Right. And people are very greedy here in America, man. And that greed is only going to trip them up and cause them to be destroyed. All right. And that's it. That's it for this place, man. Okay. That's it for this place. It's over. You know, there is no future for America. And this is why the Lord has out here. The Lord put the spirit on, on men, you know, to come out here and push this word so that you can repent and Lord willing get right. Because if you don't repent and get right, guess what? That's your ass, Mr. Postman. It says Galatians chapter six, verse seven. 
be not deceived, the most high is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And that's what America tried to do by put building that wall, Trump tried to do, and now it's come coming back unto them. Okay, now now, now uh, uh uh what's the name is built uh Mexico is building a wall to keep you out. It says, I'm um, reading NLT, don't be misled. You cannot mock the justice of Yahweh Bashmiel Shai. You will always harvest what you plant, right? And like I said, America has planted and done evil things and wicked things in this world, unrighteous things in this world. And now it's about to harvest the same things that it has planted, man. You know, you thought to destroy and topple other governments. Now your government is about to be toppled. Okay? This is it for America. And if, you know, when that guy said that, you know, which, you know, this ain't something that you're going to see on fucking Fox 9 or, you know, the damn news, man. This is something that is kept very low, um, you know, under the wraps because they don't want panic. But all these, you know, economists and these uh, government officials know, man. Let me grab that. And I'll close out with that, man. Um, I don't think it's in, in, in here. Let me go, uh, here. Let's go back. Let me go right here, man. Okay. This is Ecclesiasticus chapter 12, verse uh, 3. It says, In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease because there are few, and those that look out the windows be darkened. It's going to be, there's no, fu there's no future, the, the future's not looking good for America. Okay? It says, At the doors, and the doors shall be shut in the streets, and the sound of grinding is low. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. People are going to be looking for jobs, looking for, you know, food. It says, also when they shall be afraid of that which is high, the fear shall be in the way. The almond tree shall flourish, and the grasshopper shall be a burden, and desire shall fail. Because of man goeth his long way home, and the mourners go about the street. So this is going to be a bad time for this place, man. A bad time for America. A bad time to be, a, to, to, to be you know, um... You know, in, in 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 this in this country, you know, and it's ultimately going to lead up to thermonuclear annihilation for this place, and then you know, uh, the Lord is going to come and deliver His elect, all right, whomever they may be, Lord, when we be a part of that number, you know. So what I got said, and you know, he was laughing, but you know, he was dead ass serious, you know, and, and you saw the, the the guy at the end, the guy working in the end, he was like, he gave you that look, like, wait, what the fuck he just said. And, and the guy who started, who initiated the conversation, he wasn't laughing so much, man. You know, he turned the joke around on him. He said, hey, listen, you don't, you don't know what? He, and, he, and he gave him that look like, you know, he squinted his eyes a little bit. <laughs> like, listen, you, you're trying to be funny, but at the same time, this is what's really going on. You know, your government will never tell you about it. Your government is going to tell you that, you know, this is what's really happening. They ain't going to tell you that, man. You know? So... Get ready for great death and destruction. Get ready for all hell breaking. Let's get ready for total chaos. Get ready for, you know, the end of this world as we know it. You know, and it's, you know, most of us are here in America and been here our whole lives. Me personally, I ain't. I, I have never left the shores of America, man. You know, I, 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 went, I, I went to different states, but I've never left America. So here we are, in the land of our captivity. You know, to this day to this day and the Lord is about to totally you know eviscerate this place the face of the earth and before it comes down to nuclear missiles it's going to be economically you know um, blood in the streets you know friends fight one against another for food and water spoiling each other's houses it's going to be bad out here man so you're going to need your hell washing out shy if you don't have your hell washing out shy that's your ass with postman I don't want to punish you all about the ball